Hello, and my name is Gary Nakanalua, and welcome to the Getting Started with Azure IoT and Arduino webinar. Now, we have about 25 minutes and one objective, and that's to get you all started in IoT experimentation. Now, to do this, I'll start by sharing a bit about Blueprint and myself. Then we'll go into giving a high-level overview of the Azure IoT suite and the Arduino microcontroller. Finally, um, we'll share an example platform we put together and then review the details of the Azure IoT challenge we first unveiled at the Devon Hackathon last week. So a little bit about Blueprint. We are a nationwide technology company that bridges the gap between strategy, products, and deliveries uh, and delivery. We have uh, been doing consulting for a number of years and moved into product. And uh, we, our main office is located in the Seattle area, but we also have offices down in Dallas and in North Carolina as well. Now a little bit about myself, that's me. Um, I am the managing director of our labs and product accelerator, where uh, we try out a lot of new things, try to break things, try out a lot of new stuff and just see, kind of get a feel for what's going on out there. And so a lot of the stuff that we're showing you today is a basis for a lot of the work we do here at the labs. Now a little bit, let's talk a little bit about IoT. It's hot topic. A lot of people like talking about it. it has lots of different definitions and its most simplest form it's really about taking advantage of telemetry data from interconnected systems and devices in our case we leverage the microsoft azure iot suite pretty heavily because it's so incredibly easy to set up um, the suite itself is basically pre-configured solutions targeted for particular scenarios so whether it's um, remote monitoring, for example, or maybe you're doing a smart car implementation, something along those lines. The Azure IoT suite makes it really, really, really easy just to get started and getting your device data into a platform and then later being able to do some really cool stuff with it after that. And so you'll kind of see throughout this webinar, there are links provided at the bottom of the screen that will help you get started every step of the way. So if you go into the Azure IoT suite, this is a look at what some of the solutions are available now. And so we'll be talking really high level about the remote monitoring one there on the left, which is really all about uh, connecting devices up and then getting that data and then it'll actually visualize it for you inside of your own portal. So you go in and basically go to the IoT suite website, which is there at the bottom, and then you go to select for the remote monitoring and it takes you here and it gives you an overview of the Azure services that are actually going to be created. So you just give it whatever solution name you want, choose your Azure subscription that you want to put it in and then you hit deploy. And it usually takes in and around 10 minutes or so to actually get all up and running. The really cool thing is that Azure, for those of you that may have not used Azure, you can actually get started for free. Um, Azure actually has a free offer and you can see that link at the bottom there. So once you go through and and so here you can take a look and see what that provisioning looks like as it's running through and actually setting up all the different services for you. So with the Azure IoT suite it's actually very much a point and click endeavor to get you started. So a couple screens, couple buttons and you're ready to go. So let's talk a little bit about the Arduino. Like I said, we, we leverage this platform pretty heavily for some of the hardware-based experimentation with, that we do. The Arduino is essentially an open source microcontroller prototyping platform. It's low power, low cost, really easy to work with, and there's, it's been around for quite a while, and there's just so many, so many resources available out there. Some of you may be familiar with the Arduino. You may also be familiar with another platform known as Raspberry Pi. Um, Raspberry Pi is like a step up above the Arduino. The Raspberry Pi is essentially 
an open source computer, all inclusive. Uh, that is great for software based projects as well. The Arduino is more of just, it, it's a little bit lower level because it's at that microcontroller level. And so it's great for hardware based products and we use it for just dozens of experiments that we do here. And again, to get started really quick and simple, um, just using the link there at the bottom, download some software and you're ready to get started. Now this is part of the Arduino aside from the physical hardware hacking side of it. There's also the programmatic side. And so what you're looking at here is actually some example code used in the example that we're going to show you here in a moment that sends data to the Azure IoT portal. And so it may look familiar to some of you if you've ever been in the C, C++ world, um, but it's really straightforward. There's so many tutorials and resources available online, and we have some available for you as well that I'll share at the end. So this is a look at what we built that collects temperature and humidity data from an onboard sensor and sends it to Azure IoT. So even though there's a whole lot of wires and stuff kind of sticking out all over, you can really see how it's, it's really straightforward. You've got the Arduino board there in the middle, a few wires coming off of that in the breadboard, running over to the sensor over in the left-hand side, and then the power source. We're just using a USB power pack as our power source. This is a complete standalone temperature and humidity platform that is sending data via Wi-Fi to Azure IoT portal, which is then collecting it and actually it's charting it as well. This is another view of that exact same platform. And uh, there at the bottom, you can see a URL for a GitHub repository that has all of the example code so you can actually run this on the Arduino itself. So you can download it, just copy it over into the Arduino IDE and hit run and it'll be ready to go. This is a look at the platform itself running. So you can see here over on the left hand side, that is the telemetry data that is being sent directly by the Arduino itself. So everything that the sensor is collecting it's going to the Arduino and it's going via Wi-Fi up. On the right hand side of the screen is the Azure IoT suite. So you can see that that telemetry data is coming in and it streams in real time. So you can sit there and watch that graph actually update in front of you. And so it's pretty cool to kind of see it on the left hand side, the device sending its readings and then seeing what Azure sees on the right hand side. And then you can see our little platform in the lower right hand corner too as well. So a little bit about last week during the Devon Hackathon, we had first talked about the Azure IoT challenge. And what we wanted to do was challenge everyone to actually build this same platform to leverage both Azure IoT and the Arduino. And so we, during that hackathon, we provided an Arduino Mini Nano, as well as um, examples of how to get started. And so you can see there's a challenge website there at the bottom that'll lay out details about the challenge. And really what it comes down to is leveraging the Arduino that was provided to you, you put together the platform, get it collecting data, and then sending it up to Azure IoT. Now for those of you that are using the Mini Nano that was included at the hackathon, there'll be a few more pieces that you'll actually need. And so these are some suggestions. So your Arduino is gonna look like on the left there, that's the Mini Nano. And so you're gonna need your, your sensor, which is in the upper right hand corner here. That's a DH22 sensor. And then you're going to need to, or you should, I, sh I guess I should suggest, add in your Wi-Fi connectivity. And so that shield, what's called a shield on the right-hand side here, is what will enable that Wi-Fi connectivity. 
Now, in the example that we showed you just a few minutes ago, this board, this is an Arduino, but it's a different one. It's one created by SparkFun. This one has the Wi-Fi enabled on board. So it's all inclusive of everything. So all we had to add was the sensor itself and ran everything else. For the challenge, we wanted everyone to get a little bit more involved with the hardware side just to get a feel for that, which is why the, the Arduino that's included doesn't have the Wi-Fi shield. So you can pick up these parts and pieces on Amazon, uh, we actually created a, uh, a shopping list for you. So there at the bottom of the screen, you can see um, a list of the pieces that are there and they're very low cost. The whole platform is very low cost. So just a few dollars for, for those parts and pieces. But that will be everything to get you started. And once you get everything wired up, then you should have something that looks similar to this screen right here. And in the, in the GitHub link there at the bottom, you'll see uh, both a link to this slide presentation as well as all of the example code that is necessary to actually get up and running. And then as well as some helpful tips and resources to get you started. Now for the challenge, really what it comes down to is once you get yourself up and running with the parts and pieces, take a screenshot just like this. Um, and on the Azure IoT Challenge website, it'll tell you where to send it. Put it together, have it sending some data and send it over to us. And first one to complete it wins. And so with that, um, at this point in time, if anyone has any questions, would love to take your questions, but that is the high level overview of getting started with Azure IoT and Arduino. Really quick, um, love to see some of the things that you all put together. And at this time, we'll open it up to questions.